Okay, now we are going to uh, start from a new scene just to show you how, how to create your first scene and your first uh, part of the game, okay? Um, I recommend you to start from this empty starting scene we are going to open it and see what uh, it's inside it. okay um, well this is the main game object okay this game object has this uh, PR game setup where everything is set up uh, the game mode if it's single player or co-op or survival or team that much etc how many players uh, do do we have the game and the player prefab the player uh, spawn position okay this one uh, we have four spawn positions for the four players but this scene is set up for only one player okay if, if you want four here we need to have four here okay and this is the state of the game if it's finished or not it's only for team that much and survival um, or that much too and well uh, all the that much setup survival setup etc this is not going to uh, change anything if the mode is single player okay um, this prefab is this one uh, you can use uh, both but uh, in this case this one has if we play the game this one has the HUD uh, structure in the left side the other one is going to have it's like more a single player HUD Okay, with health and stamina here and weapon on the other side. It's the only difference. Um, okay, so the idea is to start from this scene and um, as you see, this scene has already uh, an enemy spawner. Okay you can delete it and if you go to prefabs and uh, environment I think okay maybe there isn't any prefab already made uh, for For spawners, well, that's simple, and uh, we can we can do it this in this in this tutorial. We can go here, select this enemy spawner, okay, and let's go into folders, create. Okay, and let's go into create one. Uh, it's simple. If <coughs> you can create it, assigning uh, enemy spawner script too, but this is better. Empty starting scene. Let's going to delete this. Just to show you how you can, uh, if you don't have this enemy spawner here you can create it in in other scene and then throw it here 
and now you have an enemy spawner okay this is the enemy prefab that it's going to spawn and we don't have any waypoint route assigned here okay uh, we can create them if we uh, create an empty child here this is going to be the first position mm. PR waypoints okay and then we're going to duplicate this and duplicate this okay now this is our first waypoint second and third okay now we can uh, assign them okay first second third okay and we have this root okay that the enemy is going to patrol and we have to assign this waypoint root okay it's going to do this so we know uh, which game object has the root okay and so they are going to spawn and they are going to follow this route okay and start in random waypoint okay when they spawn they, they are going to start start following the waypoint the, the the route from different waypoints and okay this is the radius of the spawn um, how many enemies are going to spawn uh, in the same cycle or in the same moment okay if we set this in one only one uh, enemy is going to be spawned uh, and then this is the max count okay how how many uh, enemies are going to spawn from this spawner uh, the timer and this is one second if it's going to accelerate then it's going to be one second uh, less than one second less than one second etc and if it's going to have a delay before uh, or after the start so if I set this to zero it's going to start spawning at the beginning okay so I said okay now they are going to spawn and they are three okay is the it's the max count of the spawner Okay, they are not following the route because uh, the player is close and uh, they are seeing the player uh, after they spawn. Okay, so this is the first um, scene setup. It's really simple. One thing you need to know is that when you create a scene you need to have a plane with the default layer set up because if you have this in objects I think the aiming is not going to work okay because it's checking the collision the mouse collision with the default layer okay so the floor needs to be a default layer then the objects need to be in the objects layer Okay, 
so the mouse um, ignores the aiming ignores that and you can have a box or something there and the aiming is not uh, stepping up there um, well so this is the first part of the new scene tutorial now we are going to uh, see in the next video how to create a new player using this humanoid mech